Hi, how you doing? I'm uh, Derek Denman. I'm with Warriors for Wireless and I am their lead instructor. So uh, what we do is at first when we get the guys out of here, we start off around 40 feet. We get them uh, accustomed to their gear, accustomed to everything with all the safeties and everything put on. Tomorrow we'll get in again, we'll be doing a lot of the rescue training and, and that, that seats in a little bit of what they learned today and put a little bit more in tomorrow. Day three, when we come back out here, we'll actually do a tall tower climb. The tower itself that we're climbing on today is uh, 394 feet tall, but we'll only be climbing to 150 feet. So in reference, that's probably up to... That first set of antennas oh, right there. will be 150 feet. Oh, 150 feet. <laughs> and the students will then get out and actually climb in uh, onto the boom face. They will get out on where the antennas are at. Uh, position off, uh, you know, show their level of comfort and their ability to climb and, and trust the gear so that way uh, the actual employers that will be employing these guys will uh, actually get a chance to see that these guys are comfortable and that they are accepting to the, to the program. That's the beauty part about this with the Warriors for Wireless is what we're doing is we're taking guys that are prior service, prior military service, and giving them an opportunity to learn a career uh, not everyone in the military comes out with a job orientation for a career. We have a lot of people that come in, they serve their time, serve honorably, but uh, just don't have a job waiting for them on the outside. And they don't want to go work at Chick-fil-A or go work at AutoZone. They, they want an actual career with a goal and, and something they can move up in and they can learn and be challenging to them. Well, with this course, uh, we I actually do job placement for these guys uh, so it's not that we give them a job but we find people that are currently working in the industry that are partnering with us because the industry is so hungry for really good dedicated people that they're turning to these service guys and knowing that these guys are the ones that are capable of doing the job but also showing up on time so they're they're wanting these military guys to come work for them and future so they're really eager to have them.